Just when you thought that Ford has a complete lineup of Ranger pickups in the country, they find another slot that needs to be filled. Slotting in between the XLT and the Wild Track, we have here the budget-friendly off-roading ute, the Ford Ranger FX4. Let's do this! Hello guys, I'm Reagan and we are now here on location to do a full feature and drive impression of the newest pickup in Ford Stable, the Ford Ranger FX4. Special thanks to Ford Alabang for providing us this truck for a weekend lend out which gave me the opportunity and the chance to truly put this truck through its paces. Now if you want to have that premium Ford experience, you may head on down to Ford Alabang and check them out. If you have any inquiries for any of Ford's lineup, well you may also contact the person in my description below. When Ford first came out with the Ranger FX4 in 2002, it was a buffed up Ranger that was meant for some serious off-roading. It had all the bits and goodies that any off-roading enthusiast would want, such as beefy BF Goodrich tires, tow hooks, and even an MP3 player. Now fast forward to today and Ford has revived the FX4 nameplate to serve as a budget off-roading option especially when you compare it to the Ford Ranger Raptor. Now how affordable is the FX4 anyway? Well the FX4 4x2 automatic that I have here retails for 1,316,000 Philippine pesos. Pony up another 100 grand and you're looking at the 4x4 option which is exactly the same in looks as the 4x2 except well the 4x4 has the 4x4 capabilities. So what separates the Ranger FX4 from our regular XLT Ranger? Well for starters, you get this blacked out front grille here that is totally badass. It reminds me of the same look that's found in the Ranger Raptor's front grille, but of course this baby doesn't spell out the words Ford right there in the middle. It's still badass though. The FX4 gets an halogen headlights in a projector type housing, but you don't get DRLs. Now DRLs guys are meant as a safety feature for other drivers to see you when you're coming at them in broad daylight. Now if you have a difficult time spotting this brute in broad daylight, well you better get your eyes checked guys. Now going down here you get this blacked out front skid plate that completes the totally macho look of the FX4. Overall, the FX4 has that uh, sporty off-roady vibe to it and in my opinion, it's even more rugged looking than the higher spec Wild Track. On the side, there's absolutely no difference between an FX4 4x2 and a 4x4. In fact, the only way to tell the difference is when you get on an off-road trail. This should make a lot of FX4 4x2 owners very happy, but not so much for the 4x4 owners. Well, at least while you're staying on paved roads. The moment you leave the road and hit an off-road trail, well, the story would change. The FX4 gets a blacked out power folding side mirrors with side repeaters. You also get a blacked out step board here and a black rear sports bar. Now I could already imagine guys, a bunch of college chicks just in their bikinis hanging on to this rear sports bar while you're heading down to the beach. Now that is a yummy thought. <laughs> the FX4 also gets these uh, 18 inch FX4 specific blacked out alloy wheels that are wrapped in a sporty 26560 R18 tires. The FX4 also gets these uh, decals here on the side which are a little bit on the subdued side especially when it comes to these uh, lifestyle trucks. Ground clearance stands at 237 millimeters and flood wading capacity is at 800 millimeters perfect for those summer beach getaways. When you get to the rear of the FX4, you'll see that it's a pretty standard Ranger rear except you do get an FX4 decal right here. However, you don't get a locking liftgate and the liftgate itself is not power assisted. So that means you have to get your push-ups in because you're gonna need some big arms, baby, to lift this gate up. Now, another weird um, thing that's missing in the Ranger FX4 is the fact that it doesn't have front and rear recovery points. For a youth that's being marketed as an off-roading pickup, the fact that it doesn't have any, well, recovery points is pretty weird after all. Now when you get inside the truck bed of this FX4, you'll see that it has a standard bed liner and it also has some tie dumps here on the side which is pretty standard for any pickup truck. It also has a distinct advantage over the larger Ranger Raptor because this baby has a payload capacity of 1300 kilos. 
it can also tow as much as 3,500 kilos worth of brake towing capacity. Now, if you'll also notice here on the side, there are no auxiliary outlets here for towing trailers and whatnot because you'll have to go up to the higher spec wild track if you want that capability. Now let's get over to the front and see what kind of engine powers this Cargador. The Ranger FX4 is powered by the older yet proven 2.2 liter Duratorque turbo diesel engine that can churn out 160 horses and 385 newton meters of torque. This baby is also mated to an older 6 speed automatic transmission and not the newer 10 speed that can be found in the Raptor and the Wild Track. You can also spec it in a 6 speed manual if you want to row your own stick. Now, this baby may have the older motor rather than the newer bi-turbo diesel engine but then during my weekend runs i found it to be perfectly adequate and if you've been a long time viewer of my channel guys you would know that i have a bias towards fast cars and fast trucks so if this baby is good enough for my lead foot it should be good enough for you as well All right guys, when you get inside the cabin of the FX4 Ranger, you'll see that it's a pretty typical Ranger cabin, except you get some nice bits and pieces that have been thrown in to make it feel a little bit more special. The FX4 gets leather seats here with contrast red stitching, and you also have a cool FX4 logo that's been embossed on the seat back, just to tell you guys that you are sitting inside the FX4. The leather material is decent, but it's not as plush as the ones that I've found in the wild track. From your seats, you also get a leather wrap steering wheel here. And I must say, guys, that this has got to be the softest steering wheel that I've ever held on in any of my car reviews, guys. I mean, so soft, it's practically plush. Now, the steering wheel also have your usual plethora of forward buttons to control your infotainment system and your cruise control. And it also tilts, but it doesn't telescope, guys. So it's a little bit of a disappointment well if you are a taller driver than me but for somebody who's five foot six it's not really a big deal from your steering wheel you have your analog instrument gauges here you got an analog tack an analog speedometer and a multi information display in the middle to show your vital stats from your gauges you have your infotainment system now this is an eight inch touchscreen infotainment system that has apple carplay android auto and bluetooth connectivity but you don't get ford's my sync 3 and you don't get navigation as well but then given the fact you already have apple carplay and android auto you really won't miss that navigation uh, feature because you could always use waze or google maps to find your way around however one huge miss that this ranger fx4 doesn't have is well a backup camera now, it does have uh, rear parking sensors, guys, but throughout the weekend that I've been driving this beast, I really felt it that it doesn't have a backup camera. I mean, that is an essential safety tool that should be, well, pretty much mandatory in all of these pickup trucks because they're quite long, wide, and tall. So a backup camera is going to be an essential safety tool. However, even if you don't have a backup camera here, you do get auto-dimming rear-view mirrors, which is kind of funny, guys, because, well, as an FX4 driver, I, I'm having a hard time thinking what kind of car would be tall enough, would have headlights that are tall enough to blind, well, an FX4 pickup driver. And the only vehicle that comes to mind, guys, is Optimus Prime. <laughs> well, at least you still get that auto-dimming rear-view mirror, which is something that you really wouldn't expect in a base lifestyle style pickup truck now this uh, fx4 also doesn't have a key fob or um engine push start button instead you still get your usual traditional key here not really a big issue you also get a manual climate control system here it's also not a big issue because this is quite intuitive and easy to use you get a couple of usb ports a 12 volt outlet and a couple of cup holders here right beside your traditional handbrake now I'm going to do my clean canteen test, but normally when it comes to these American brands, I don't really have any issues at all when it comes to the cup holders, but let's check it out right now. Yep, it fits snugly and perfectly inside the cup holder of the Ranger FX4, so that is a big pass. Now, I also want to do a visor test here because in the weekend that I've been driving this, it's been quite sunny and hot and as we can as we have now so i'd like to do the straight pipes uh, visor test to see if it passes as well so we have the visor here and see if it passes three two one 
Yes, it passes with flying colors and I know that for a fact because, well, I've been using it here, especially when I have the sun right here on the driver's side window. All right, guys. So, yes, aside from uh, all of these bits and goodies, well, the cabin layout, overall the feel, it's pretty good. This gives me more of a feel of an SUV or a crossover rather than an actual, you know, utilitarian uh, pickup truck. And that's actually quite a good thing. You also get some contrast red stitching here on your dashboard to make it look and feel like it's a leather dashboard, although it's not. It's just designed that way, guys. But overall, yes, the Ranger FX Force uh, cockpit is a very nice place to spend time in. Now, let's head over to the back seat and see what kind of toys and space we can expect in the back seat of the FX4. Now stepping inside the back seat of the Ranger FX4, you'll see that it is also a typical Ranger back seat, which means to say that it is quite spacious, guys. I'm five foot six, and as you could see, I got a decent amount of headroom here. I got around five inches before my head touches the headliner. I got a decent amount of knee room. This is my driving seating position. So as you could see, I have around seven inches before I touch the back of the driver's seat. And the uh, leg room and foot room is quite decent as well you don't get too much toys though in the back seat of ranger fx4 you do have well a center armrest here with a couple of cup holders and here right down in the center you have a 12 volt charging port but not much else you don't get rear ac vents you don't get a usb charging port but you do have isofix anchors if that means something to you now let's head back to the driver's seat take this baby out for a spin and see how it drives on the road let's go Alright guys, so we're now behind the wheel of the Ford Ranger FX4 and first up, visibility. You've got an awesome amount of visibility on this truck, especially since, well, you are seated quite high up on the road. So you've got an awesomely commanding view of your road. Forward visibility is awesome. Sidewards visibility is also great. You've got large side mirrors here, so you don't really get too much blind spots despite piloting a pretty large truck. Now let's try the acceleration and the grunt of this truck. We're going up an uphill now. And despite having the older 2.2 liter Duratoric motor, well, this baby has absolutely no issues at all negotiating a steep incline such as what we went through right now. I mean, if you think about it, guys, 160 horses and 385 Newton meters of torque, this baby is hardly underpowered at all. This baby has enough juice to satisfy even my own lead foot, guys. And I've put it through its paces during this weekend. I've done uh, quite a bit of highway runs as well. And I'm also quite pleasantly surprised with the fuel economy. Because in mixed city and highway driving, I've actually done around 12 kilometers per liter, which is quite decent, especially the fact that I don't really do any fuel economy runs. I have a very heavy lead foot, guys as you all know from my past videos. I mean guys, despite being down on horsepower versus the Wild Track and the Raptor, despite being a, a truck with an older Duratorque diesel engine, let's uh, recognize this truck for what it truly is. This is a workhorse pickup truck that can deliver the goods and deliver it well. And the good thing there is despite being a basic, <laughs> basic pickup truck guys, this baby still has more cabin amenities than some of the other pickup trucks out there in the market. You know which brands I'm talking about. Now when it comes to the steering feel, this is one of the lighter steering wheels that I've also tested, especially given the fact that this is quite a heavy pickup truck. This is quite light, but despite its lightness, it's tuned to have a little bit of feedback. It doesn't feel like an arcade game, which is a good thing. And if you couple that with the fact that, well, I've got one of the plushest leather wrapped steering wheels here in my hands, that means that this uh, Ranger FX4's uh, steering response and driving feel 
Well, baby, this truck is quite a pleasant surprise to drive. <laughs> it's a pleasant experience, guys. I mean, you'd expect that when you're driving a pickup truck, it's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be cumbersome, but that's not the case with the Ranger FX4. Now, when it comes to the suspension, well, the suspension of the Ranger series, I have no complaints at all, guys. I mean, wow. For a pickup truck, this baby is well composed. I went on a road trip with my wife the other day, and in that highway run, this truck felt like we were driving an SUV, a pickup-based SUV at that. It doesn't get jittery on the road. It doesn't really jolt you around, jostle you around like other pickup trucks out there. That's one thing I love about uh, Ford trucks. You know, Ford really knows how to tune its suspensions when it comes to their truck lineup. This baby sometimes even feels like a crossover. I mean, it's so good that during that same road trip with my wife, well, she fell asleep on the road. She fell asleep, guys. <laughs> that is how composed and how comfortable the cabin of the Ranger FX4 is. It's crazy. All right, let's take the Ranger FX4 out on a, this dirt track. This is the 4x2 model, but since we are in a light dirt trail here, this is not really gonna give much of an effect, whether it's a 4x2 or a 4x4. The good thing here, guys, is going through this dirt track, you could see that the Ranger FX4 suspension is very well composed. I'm recording right now, and as you can see, the camera isn't really you know, jostling all around. This baby has a perfectly decent light off-roading capability. <laughs> All right, let's get back to civilization now. Now guys, when it comes to braking, well, the FX4 Ranger brakes like a truck that has rear drum brakes at the rear, which means that you have to allocate a little bit more of a braking distance and space to make sure that you don't get into any traffic mishaps. Now, some of you might be thinking, why is it that it's still on drum brakes? and not on rear disc brakes like some of the other higher-end pickups or SUVs out in the market. Well guys, you have to understand that this is still a workhorse pickup truck and rear drum brakes apparently is perfect for trucks that are meant to carry heavy loads. You see, you don't really use the rear brakes anyway too much when you're driving around town. It's mostly the front brakes that has all the action. The rear brakes, however, are the ones that are engaged whenever you put this uh, car in park and you activate the handbrake. Now, since your rear drum brakes have larger brake shoes, that means, well, when you've activated the handbrake, this truck will have uh, more effective uh, brakes to stop this and hold this truck in place, even if you're carrying a heavy load. I mean, imagine trying to park this baby in an, on an uphill road, all right? And you have a full payload at the bed and you engage that handbrake. If you have disc brakes at the rear, those disc brakes may fail, but the drum brakes would have better braking capabilities, holding capabilities, when you're engaged in park. So that's the reason why you know, manufacturers still use rear drum brakes, especially in uh, workhorse pickup trucks that are meant to carry heavy loads. Overall guys, the Ranger FX4 is the best all-rounder pickup truck that I've driven in all of my car reviews. This baby scores a 9 out of 10 in my book, mainly because, well, the missing point is the fact that it doesn't have a backup camera. But aside from that guys, this is a fantastic pickup truck. It would get the job done and still give you some creature comforts and cabin amenities that you really wouldn't expect at its price point guys. Wow. Ford really knows how to make fantastic pickup trucks. The Ranger FX4 is probably the most balanced pickup truck in Ford Stable, straddling the line between a workhorse and a lifestyle truck. It suffers no pretensions, no bling, just plain and simple, straightforward ruggedness. It can get the job done while giving you the best ride you can get in any pickup at its price point. This bad boy can never be mistaken as a metrosexual. This truck right here, it's the real deal. Once again, thank you guys for watching one of my truck reviews. If you like this truck review, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. I promise you guys, I'll give you better and better car and truck reviews if you subscribe to my channel. I'm Ray Gan, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.